can you guess where I am? Scotland. Yes. Scottish borders. Yes. That's as much info I'm giving out. So it's time for another overnight adventure. And this has been a long time coming. It feels like an eternity since I've made a video or a vlog. You've probably been, look at this place. Look at it, man. Look at this sun, it's belting. Obviously you've been following my channel, so you know I've had a few videos out, but those are videos that I had already vlogged from the back end of last year. So this is actually me third or fourth camp of 2024. Uh, we're at the, what, 18th of January now? So I've camped three or four times this year already, but I haven't done any vlogs. I've just took the time to just have solitude, chill, enjoy camping. We're back out, we're back on the vlogs, and uh, <laughs> we're in this amazing, amazing place. And could we have picked a better day? Probably not. That sunshine is absolutely belting. I've got an idea of where I'm going. I've spotted some pictures and uh, I fell in love with this place. Absolutely fell in love with it. Chevy, it's a fantastic, the latest is fantastic. But up here, in the few times I've been, I've not seen a soul on the entire trip, which has just been pretty phenomenal, really. Lemine. <sighs> Look at that. Stunning. Phenomenal. Absolute phenomenal. Um, not going high tonight, but it is going to be cold. So, to the forecast obviously at the minute, you're well in the minuses. Um, driving in at the, in the car, coming in here, here's about minus two, and that's with the height of sunshine. Um, so it'll be clear skies tonight, slight breeze. So I imagine that temperature is going to dip significantly during the night. La Baina. Tell I'm happy to be out. You can tell I'm happy to be out here in this amazing place. Right, I'm at the top of the first bit. It's decision time, but first, look at this man. How awesome is this view? Views! <laughs> it's been a while coming for that. It's been a while. Look at that place, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. My options then, my options then are, well I've camped on there before, I've already camped on there, I've camped over there, so I'm either going, where am I going? I'm either going there, or I'm going there, or up there. In fact, I'm not going there, so that's out of the equation. I've either going there or there. So I'm gonna take a couple of minutes, taking this awesome view, and then, um, and then decide decide where about some gonna where I'm gonna pitch and head to so bring us back soon. Beat after some deliberating decided where I'm going. Look at that. We've got a little bit of daylight left. Sun's gone down there but he's got another hour left or so. So plenty of time to take a bit of a mooch up there and uh, and just see where See where I end up, really. Absolutely frozen solid. Yeah, nah, we've already done it, so we can't do it again. I mean, to be fair, I haven't done a vlog for a month. I haven't recorded for a month. I've got a month's worth of views to, uh, to get in today, but it doesn't even need, it doesn't even need the subtitles does it really look at it man speaks for itself bonnie scotland worst scottish accent of the year award there so nice what a place what a place look at that absolutely amazing might just go there, just check out that sunset over there. Uh, first of all though, I'm going to go and have a climb up there, have a look, see what's up there, and see if there's any pitching options. I think I found my spot. I think I'm going to go here, just pitch here, and then 
you've got the views all about the Cheviot over there and then you'll have sunset over there and this is pretty flat it's a decent pitch uh, I'm back out in the little red water tonight so we're um we'll be all good so I'll bring you back once the tent's up you're under Boosh, you're back, you're back, you're back, you're back in the room. Little red wart is up, sun is going down, I cannot feel my hands. Um, I'm going to get my gear in the tent, get in, get, get changed clothes because I'm sweating off water and and I'm getting freezing now. I'll get that, I'll bring you back. Right, all the gear is in the tent, it's all in the tent. I've got the full, full winter set up, the sun's just starting to go down. I'll tell you what, there's only a slight wind coming from. Um, come from that way but it is absolutely numb I've, i literally i couldn't i couldn't use my fingers when i got in the tent earlier is that cold it's worth it man isn't it to be out like this and just enjoying the peace and the quiet and yeah you know, you've got 360 degree views here like there's just views all around you but i am really expecting the temperature to drop further when that sun goes down oh god i, I brought some beers and stuff because you know how it is, but in all honesty, I'm not even fancying a beer at all. I think it's too cold for a beer because I'm just really not feeling the whole beer vibe tonight. Plus, I'm out tomorrow for the Sunland Hull match, so that should be decent. Well, I was going to get my little drony out for a little bit, but um, the app seems to be glitching, so I might not get her in flight after all. moon's out up there as well but just come out the tent because it's going to be a it's going to be a long night to be fair because um there's not really much to do it's it's so cold it's not going to be out later on and uh i haven't got much signal up there and plus obviously i've decided i'm not even having a beer because it's just not worth risking it when it's this cold it's going to be cold enough without without the old alcohol to kick the bum but yeah i just come on a just a little wander <laughs> Just um, stretch my legs, make a, make the most of being able to get out the tent while I can. Wait, well, you can see there we're getting um, a really, really nice sunset. Really nice sunset. Well, very nice colours anyway. What's left of them, but. It's only it's only after just after five like and it's um it's freezing like it's so so cold. Even in the tent normally I'm quite warm by now, but I'm um, I'm actually feeling quite cold. Even with like the sleeping bag wrapped around us and stuff, so <laughs> freezing. The moon's totally out. We're definitely going to have clear skies tonight, like and by god you can feel it in the temperature, it's definitely reflected in uh in in how cold it is winds really picked up as well um for what was forecast so it's obviously making it a little bit colder i still haven't even warmed up i'm sitting I'm sitting in the tent i've got my rab 900 on us and i've got um the alkit uh pipe dream 400 wrapped around us and i'm still absolutely freezing the water had already frozen like i've literally been here what oh turn this off there i've literally been here what a couple of hours maybe and the water bottle's already frozen oh, it always does that goes flat really quick i'll put this back on bugger it yeah so the the water's already frozen and i'm just oh, i'm making me world war ii rations just to try and warm up food is gone the world war ii ration is gone it was um what was it chicken sausage and beans it was that one it's probably one of the better ones out uh, the old army rations so, so this isn't just the best chocolate bar because it's coming up Easter, obviously. So nice, so nice. So I'm going to have some chocolate and then um, I'm literally going to put the candle on and just chill out and relax. See? No beers tonight, man. No beers, no beers whatsoever. What is going on? What is going on? Normal service will be resumed at some point, just not tonight. Oh, I've just come out to go for a bit of a, uh, a leakage and it is so cold out here. My God, my God, my God. Um, I was just starting to warm up in the tent as well, typically. And then, uh, whoop, there you go. There goes there. Break the sail. Here we go. 
the moon is out and the stars are out. It is very, very clear sky. Let's delve into the little bag of shit. I've just got all my little bits and pieces in this tiny little bag, which is pretty cool actually. Deodorant, essentials. A knife, essential. Compass, essential. Uh, even more essential than a compass is a candle. Uh, oh yeah, and even more essential than a candle is a lighter. So in that order, there you go. Wouldn't leave home without them in a spare charger in this lovely little net bag. Great stuff, eh? You can never have too many bags. We've turned the central heating on, so hopefully that'll raise the temperature in here by a couple of degrees. It's, um, and it could do for clean, like it's got wax all over it. It looks like, um, looks like Mia Khalifa's face after a good night out. See the frost on the tent. Doesn't feel too bad now. No, I tell you what, candles, right? I mean, as dangerous as it is having candles on in a tent, they really make a difference, you know, in the winter. So for me, if there's like an unessential piece of kit, what is essential to bring, for me it's a candle, like every time. Love it, love a candle. In summer, they're great if you use the shipping other ones because it keeps the midges away. Um, and in winter, it just adds even like, you know, a degree or two, um, just to the little microclimate inside your tent. And it does really make the difference. And for you know for for how much or how little the wear, it's it's um it's a it's a no brainer for me. Love it, and it sets a nice ambience as well. So there you go. There's me promo for why you should have candles. Anyway, so bit of an honest conversation tonight. So I've, obviously I've not had any beers whatsoever tonight. Uh, I sat here around about half past four, and I don't know why, but I had the sudden burst of the most ridiculous anxiety. Um, to the point where it actually nearly made us pack up my tent and go back. And I sat there for about an hour, backwards and forwards, right? I, was, I put, I started putting stuff in my bag, then I took it out, then I put it back, then I took it out, and I was like, what are you doing? And I can't work out why, because obviously I love being out here, I'm happy to be out here, but <laughs> it's just such, people are so bizarre, the, the human mind is so bizarre. But um, yeah, there's my little um, 30 seconds worth of um, honesty there just uh, in case there is anybody who relates because I think it happens to all of us I think sometimes you know you're all you're always prone to those um, not negative thoughts but it's just like you just kind of like open the door it's just slightly ajar and a few of them pour out and then you, you put them back in the cupboard but I very bizarre come out of the blue come from nowhere and right right now it's gone now it's closer to like 8, 8 p.m. now uh, and I'm, I'm so glad that I didn't pack up and go I'm so glad Right, guys, it is time for me to have an early night and go to sleep. It's been really nice. I'm really, really, really happy that I stayed now. I'm so glad that I stayed and that I didn't pack up and go. So that's definitely a little mental win, I think. Um, and sometimes you just need them. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with admitting that. Sometimes you just need them. So I shall... No, actually, unless something diabolical happens during the night. See you in the morning, guys. <laughs> morning it's just after seven and the shit getting here well the wind's picked up it's been like this all night it's been blowing a gale it hasn't even been really gusty it's just been consistent it's just literally rattle 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 it's time to get up and get everything in the bag before getting out because uh it is going to be so cold out there with that wind chill so yeah let's get up Let's get sorted, I'll bring you back soon. Wait, well, unfortunately I've packed everything up. And the reason I say unfortunately is because now that means I'm going to have to go out the tent. It is absolutely bitter out there. It is so cold. So, um, get these mats on my bag. Everything else is, um, is already packed up. I've got my gloves ready. Some, these are awesome gloves, these by the way. Absolutely awesome. Frozen red water this morning. Right, let's go. Wow, just wow, look at that sunrise, man. That is absolutely amazing. You know what it is? 
views <laughs> it's cold but it's gold that looks so beautiful so so beautiful but anyway let's not dwell let's not dwell oh let's just uh let's just get this down in seconds so so let's remove the little red wash from the surface of the uh bring you back soon boosh you're back in the present in this amazing morning so as you can see we've left no trace whatsoever apart from a arse shaped print where my backside slept all night leave no trace none trace left let's go In terms of sleeping and temperature, uh, it was actually all right. It was quite nice. It was um, it was quite warm during the night. The wind woke us up quite a few times, but um, temperature. Once I got into bed, um, I was more than warm enough to be honest. Hey, <laughs> you can see the awesome pastely colours over my shoulder there for that sun sunrise, but. Wind, we're out the wind now, so it's nice and calm and chilled and I mean, like, oh, could you want to wake up in a better place than this? Like, of course you couldn't. You definitely could not. It's, it's not even a question. I'm so glad I stuck this out now. I did have that little bit wobble. Like I say, it wasn't even like, it wasn't scared. It wasn't fear. It wasn't anything like that. It was just pure like, you don't want to be here, go home. Such a weird, overwhelming feet, uh, feeling, which, I mean, like I say, it lasted about 45 minutes. So glad that I stopped out now. So glad. Definitely just a little tiny win, you know what I mean? And that's what you need sometimes, you need that. You need that to reboot yourself. Once I made myself busy, I think when you're sitting in the tent and you've got like, you know, 14, 15, 16 hours of darkness and you're stuck in a tent in cold weather, like, if you don't keep yourself busy, you just got time to, to think too much, don't you? So probably that's what it was, because as soon as I start getting busy and making food and stuff, it's absolutely fine, and I've been absolutely fine since. It's been a good night. It's another successful camp in the bag. And uh, an even better morning, to be fair. So I camped up on there uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago. I camped on there about two and a half weeks ago. Um, and is that it? I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. But I want to go on that one. I want to camp on that one over there. Looks like a tit. Look at that one. Come, I've come down too early, haven't I? <laughs> God, I, I wish I was still up there, but needs most I do need to get home, so I can't really afford to wait about because it's, uh, it's Friday morning, so it'll be rush hour traffic. Bush hour for the northeast. Oh my god. Looks like there's a volcano erupting or something, doesn't it? It's like so pretty. So pretty. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, one other thing I was going to mention. So this head torch, the LED lenser, the last video I put out, there's quite a lot on it. And some um person commented on saying promo. Wasn't a promo actually, wasn't a promo. Um, you've got to disclose stuff like that and to be honest everything that I've got on my camping list is stuff I've paid for with my own money so no just to clarify absolute zero promo if I've got gear and it's shite I'll say it's shite if it's great I'll say it's great and then it lie really is there I just look at it like this if someone watches your channel and they're looking at you for any form of advice review honest opinion if you're testing a product that you've got for free and you big the company up and you see, oh, it's this, it's great, oh, it's brilliant, when in reality it's shit. What's going to happen? That person might buy it and that person might get in trouble because of it, you know, they might find themselves in dangerous position because of the poor gear you've urged them. Um, <laughs> that you've urged them to buy. So absolutely no promo whatsoever. And if there ever is a promo, it'll be an absolute honest opinion, which is probably why I doubt I'll get many promos. <laughs> People rely on you to be honest, and that's what this channel is all about. It's all about honesty. You got to be honest, make your mistakes, learn from them, try your products, rate them accordingly. Never lie. Just be honest. What's the point of lying?
Right, I'm nearly back to the car, so this is as good a place to sign off as any. So I'm going to leave you here. Another successful camping trip in a bag, so thank you for coming along with us. Um, I really appreciate the company. We all know these trips are lonely, so it's always good to have a camera here to talk to and pretend that it's somebody. <laughs> um, no, another thing as well, thank you for all the subscribers that's recently subbed my channel. Um, you know, I couldn't believe it when we hit a thousand and then up to 1100, so absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, I appreciate all of you, I really do. And I hope to pay you back with some good videos. So thanks for joining us guys, take care, until the next one.